and welcome back to our channel or if you're new here welcome today I'm going to share with you a freezer friendly stir fry recipe that I have uh, you can use it with rice or noodles it freezes beautifully and it reheats beautifully and uh, you can either make it into like a freezer bowl or you can put it into a freezer bag for a later date to stick into a crock pot or to defrost for a quick meal idea and then make your rice and noodles at that point in time. So the reason why I'm sharing this with you and everything is a channel that I follow, Jamie's Country Living, go check her out, she's awesome, uh, did a bread collab a little while ago and I joined it. It was an open collaboration for the month of, Mar month of March. I met some really awesome ladies and such and got some really good recipe ideas through it. Well, I happened to come across a video this morning of hers for a freezer meal, which is now part of another collaboration through another YouTuber that I, I know through her for CNC Farms. So it's an open collaboration uh, hosted by CNC Farms. Uh, go check them out if you haven't already. And I decided, well, I'll throw my recipe in there and see if you know people might like it and everything like that. So head over to uh, CNC Farms and check out the collaboration. It's uh, Freezer Meals, hashtag Freezer Meals 23. Uh, freezer frenzy uh, go check out all the yummy ideas that are there and I will get into my recipe right now hey y'all so this is a last-minute decision to film this so as you can see I'm browning my chicken I decided to make an impromptu stir-fry for dinner tonight uh, it's just gonna be chicken I chopped the chicken and I put uh, I coated it in cornstarch and uh, soy sauce and then I let it sit to marinate for about an hour or so and then put a little bit of oil in the bottom of the wok I use olive oil and then I've been browning it for the last half hour or so because it's taking a little bit more to stir while I was making other things so it's just about ready to add the make make this sauce okay so there is the chicken again so now I think it's about, I also have in this pot here rice so we're gonna go grab the sauce, which is right here on the counter. So this is just a concoction I made. I had some pineapple juice and some, I made mean, beef broth and added soy sauce and two tablespoons of brown sugar and some spices just to kind of give it a nice little broth. So there we go. So I'll let that boil and then when it's done and when it comes to a boil, I will add a little bit of a cornstarch flurry to, or slurry bleh, to um, thicken the sauce. Okay, so as you can see, there's the, cor the cornstarch slurry. It's about a tablespoon worth of cornstarch and about a half a cup of water, warm water. So we are now going to just kind of put it in and stir it in. And it'll thicken the sauce. Look at that, nice and thick and ready to go. So I will show you what it looks like again when it's on the plate. Okay, so there you have it. It's on the nice on the plate and ready to eat. Very steamy. So I'm gonna go try it and we'll let you know how it is. Ooh, that sun is bright. Coming right in and it's like, oh my goodness. Anyways, I'm sitting here now with my stir fry concoction that I made. And yes, don't judge, there is no vegetables in it. It's just the chicken. I don't know. I just decided to do it this way, my way. So here goes nothing. Let's try it and see. Let's get a good amount here on that. All right. Actually, I can see how they can say it's a sweet, like a um, sweet and sour. And the pineapple juice isn't so bad. It was about a cup of pineapple juice that I put in there. And it's actually very subtle. It's not that bad. For someone who doesn't like pineapple, not too shabby. So I'm going to dive back into this and finish my dinner. And I hope you all have a great night. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, again, welcome. Uh, 
Don't forget to hit the like button, turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any more fun. And if you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join the family and uh, help us reach our goal of 250 subs. Have a great night, everybody.